Hello YouTube, this is Aman Jiman from Techist 365 and in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Amazon ACS as a Sandmail MTA on an EC2 instance or light shell. So here's the thing, we know that uh, we in Amazon EC2 or light shell we cannot send any mail because Amazon by default blocked port 25 and as a reason people cannot use PHP mail function to send mail or you cannot have SMTP on your uh, cPanel sometimes people use cPanel, cyberpanel, direct admin but none of this are works because the SMTP function is by default blocked so you have two option or three option sometimes so either you have to ask AWS to open open the port 25 using RDNS function so you have to add publish an RDNS and if AWS uh, think that you, the, your request is valid only that case they're gonna approve your request in such case you can send SMTP or use SMTP uh, function without any issue just like the regular SMTP functions on other VPS providers and the other option is you can use SendMail MTA with SendGrid, Mailgun, SendInBlue, AWS SES, whatever you want. And the third option is you can set up external SMTP uh, with just like SendGrid, uh, SES, Mailgun with uh, third party plugin like if you use WordPress you can use WordPress SMTP, Mailer, something like that. So in our case, uh, we're gonna today try to set up a server-wide SMTP function or send mail function so that we can use the send mail in our blocked VPS. So here, uh, I took a T2 micro server for testing and also I have Amazon SCS console ready. So here I have an approved account, like if I check my standing statistics, you can see I'm out of sandbox so I can send mail and here in domain section I verified my domain so if you verify any a domain you can put everything anything in front of that domain name so also I set up mail from function because this is very important and needed otherwise you're gonna ruin your main domain so here I'm gonna use a subdomain function for that and since it's done, I'm gonna go to the SMTP settings. I'll note this endpoint for later, and I'll also note the ports. And that's all I need for now. So, what we need for SMTP, I mean SendMail MTA. So we need to create a, a create a SMTP user actually not SMTP we're gonna actually create an IAM user with uh, having full SES access so let's go to the IAM management console and then I'm gonna you can search from here IAM like in service you can go to the here the IAM and here's this function now I will go to the user section and then I'll create an user and I'm gonna give it uh, send mail and I'll assign programmatic access and next permission then I'll attach direct permission and I will type SESF that's all I need but if you have set up any kind of bounds or complaint management system with Amazon SNS or what's called if you use any other system you can attach the policy from here so since i haven't used any kinds of policy although i should have used but this is for test and demonstration purpose so i will just assign this one and next tag review create user that's all i need so i'll copy the key and the the id and key so i'll keep this tab open for a couple of seconds for next time so now uh, I will open my EC2 instance this is my EC2 instance and here uh, here I'll connect the instance so I exposed uh, port 22 and 25 
for demonstration purpose. So I'll connect using port 22 as an SSH and I expose port 25 to demonstrate that it's not actually work. So here I'll open the server. So it's in, I'll using, I'm using Terminus, you guys might have Putty, so no problem. So I will enter sudo super user mode first, sudo su. Then I will upgrade everything in server. So apt get update and then apt get upgrade and then apt get auto remove if there is any unnecessary file. So I already have done this, that's why it's showing nothing because it's gonna take it one or two minutes. So instead of making this video lengthier, I have done this already. So then the second thing is you have to set up the hostname record. I mean, uh, what's called the host record. You can see it usually it's showing MTA. It's supposed to be something like uh, your private IP address. So to do this, you have to do something like that, like hostname CTL, set hostname, then you have to put your domain name or FQDN. So to do this, uh, I set up a a records in Cloudflare. So I create a uh, subdomain using MTA and the domain name in here so that uh, it can act as a FQDN, full qualified domain name actually. So here I have done this and now this, this is why it's showing like this. After you have done that, you have to reboot the server. But uh, before I reboot, I have to ensure one more thing. I'll edit the host record file, nano etc host. Here you can see local host, nothing else. So I'll add something like 127 0.1.1 and space. Then the full qualified domain name, which is MTA techies. 365.xyz and the space uh, MTA and control X Y save and you can perform a reboot if you want but I, I recommend to have a reboot so the reboot is done so we will wait a couple of seconds until we re uh, we're gonna connect the server so in meanwhile I'll give a pause we just reconnect our server now we're gonna enter the super user mode sodo sodo su now in super user mode we're gonna install send mail mta and mail utilities so i created a doc file so that uh, it's gonna be easy for you guys to perform all these commands so i will just follow that uh, the git file gist file so here in this doc file uh, here i'll install sodo app install send mail and mail utilities and sls module 2 so it's gonna take 30 or 40 second so i already installed it that's why it's showing because otherwise it's gonna take time then the second thing is if you don't have mail directory then you have to create one so in in aws ubuntu 18.04 there is no mail directory by default so I'm gonna create one. Oh, it's already there sorry about that and sometimes you might see some kind of pop-up in case if you use any kind of other MTA you might see uh, some kind of pop-up that is uh, conflicting with like post mail or something like that in case you have to troubleshoot accordingly what you have so since it's a fresh server there is no pop-up here so then that's uh, then we're gonna create a authentication file in mail directory called auth info so here's the auth info file in auth info file we gonna put this line here it says ses host and uh, user id and password so in SES host, uh, I will actually use the host record, which is this one. So since I'm using in Mumbai region, so it's, it's going to be different for your region to region. So most of the people use Amazon uh, North Virginia region. So make sure you change accordingly. So I'll copy this one. Then 
I will actually replace this whole file so next time uh, you can see I'm using these names again so I will actually using all of them gonna in same function same time replace so it's replaced and now in user IDs function actually I have to change the key name key ID actually so user ID I'm gonna control select control F replace and just done and in the password make sure there is no space so in password I will just Control V paste and now I will copy whole string and put it here. So now it's looking good. Control X Y enter. Following the next step, so we're gonna set the permission to 700. Then we're gonna generate the hash file for the authentication. So here we're gonna generate the hash file then we're gonna connect Amazon SES SMTP relay so as we change the string here's the endpoint I mean the host we copied as I mentioned it should be whatever region you have you have to copy it from there so I'm gonna copy and connect the relay so relays is connection initiated and we're gonna regenerate the database file of send mail empty hash so enter so hash is I mean database is generated now we're gonna back up our existing SMT I mean send mail uh, configuration file and then we're gonna edit it so we're gonna set a copy it is a, a send mail MC backup we're gonna name this file and send mail MC backup so in case we need to modify later or we messed up something we can have the backup config file and we can edit it from right there so then we're gonna create configure we're gonna edit actually in configure uh, configuration file and here is the configuration file here you can see there's a lot of stuff in here so we go to the end of the file and before the dry before this this option we're gonna add a space and this is space uh, we can actually type AWS ACS and then we can start putting our information there so here you can see smart host it was in here you have to put the host record of uh, your Amazon ACS which we got from here and then the mailer page so in we are using port 25 for that one you could use the other ports but I recommend to have 25 in unless you configured any kinds of policy like ports using SMT uh, SSL or TLS and then you can see the rest of the information are same so only you have to change the domain dot TLD with your domain name in our case is take is 365.xyz that's all and we're gonna just copy this block and we're gonna just put it there and I had another space and control X Y enter now uh, we can actually set up the permission this is optional but uh, it's sorry this is actually required so we can actually copy all of them at the same time and enter so that's it so now we're gonna restart the send mail MTA from service. So restart done. So now we can actually make some test. So if we like to make a test here, we have to issue this command. So in sender, so we're gonna replace this as a sender as a like support at take is 365.x xyz and receiver so we're gonna use spam to mail tester for uh, testing mail test so we're gonna copy this and 
here is their mailbox address you can use your gmail to have a i mean test it so in from function we're gonna set this and from receive we gonna have that one so let's issue this command and then uh, subject sorry. so from Now we're going to press Ctrl D. So mail is sent I believe. If everything is okay it should be done. So we're going to check the score. So let's wait a couple of seconds and we'll get back again actually i think we made a mistake uh, it's not coming so the authentication information we actually put wrong information so we have to fix it so in here in smtp settings we have to create an smtp credential actually so instead of using an im we have to create smtp credential create so now we have the key and file we're gonna replace the key again control P now we're gonna update the file again and redo all the step again done so we just have to generate the hash and also the relay and the DB function So now we're going to test again. So seems it's working now. Let's check again. So it's working now so we got the mail and uh, it, we can ignore this result no problem with that because that's all about uh, the content so this is how we can make your SMTP function working in your EC2 instance so in case here's the one catch like this is for only one domain so let's just say if you have only one website hosted or web application hosted here in such case, uh, you use another domain name, that would be trouble. So I suggest to use whatever domain you are using with web application, use that one in this configuration. And uh, we can actually tell net, we're actually gonna clear this one, carlifconfig.me. This is the server IP address. We can show you that. Uh, the mail function is actually not working in this VPS. So 25, you can see unable to connect, remote host refused. So this is all about today's video tutorial. If you guys have any question, please let us know. We will try to respond your comment as, as best as possible we can do. 
So once again, thanks for watching this video.